Okay, we're rolling. All right, I'm standing here with a mercenary by the name of Cowboy. They call me Cowboy, yeah. They call you Cowboy? Yeah. I understand you've been on quite an expedition lately. Would you like to tell us a little about that? <laughs> yeah, me and my friends here, we went on a trip out in the woods mm -hmm. um, to uh, do a little search for, you know, some missing friends of ours. Mm -hmm. uh, How many friends? Uh, I can't go into specific details. Okay, very much. Yeah, uh, but we went north and uh, we looked for them and uh, we found some uh, MAF, Northern Alliance Force uh, troops, uh, which we uh, we tried to help one of them because he was wounded. Okay. Yeah, and we we went up to him and uh, some people shot us. Really? They, and, they thought you were hostile? Yeah, and it turned out it was uh, Poldavian forces. Oh, oh, so you were approaching the NAF forces and Poldavians ambushed you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, I was taken into custody. Okay. Into their prison camp, mm. and it was like, you know, what am I doing here? And I asked the guard, and he told me to shut up. And then uh, I was, uh, I had to stay <laughs> stand in the rain and get all wet. And uh, but uh, after a while, I got to talk to the man in charge, and he let me out because I told him I, we had nothing to do with this conflict. Mm. So just caught in the middle. Yeah. But of course many, we many were armed because this, this, this is a dangerous country and we're in the middle of a war here. So, I mean, you should, you should be able to arm yourself. I mean, I'm a hunter, mm. uh, usually. But we, we've heard a number of locals complaining about how they're supposed to feed themselves with the current food crisis if all their weapons are being taken. Yeah, I mean, if we see an animal in the forest, we shoot it. So. Mm. We need, uh, we need uh, food and stuff. We've, no. heard, we've heard many terrible stories, and indeed we've seen, our, seen for ourselves the uh, status things in the Poldavian prison camps. Did you see any terrible treatment? I understand you were left exposed to the weather, no shelter. Yeah, and I, I, I was in the prison camp before, and uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience. No, it was day. Before, before now, you had already been in prisoner once. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And how did you escape? Or how did you get out? Uh, they let me go, actually. Oh, so they've, they apparently they, they've been seizing people and then releasing them. I think uh, they, arbitrarily. Yeah, I think they're trying to get them to share information or whatever. Mm -hmm. break. They tried to break us down. They, they, uh, they forced us to walk in a circle and listen to bad music. <laughs> Yeah, you're laughing, but it was... No, no, I, I, no, I, I, I should not laugh. Hours. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I know. You, you weren't there, but... Maybe you were there. I was there once, yes. I oh, okay. experienced similar, similar treatment. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Mock then execution. You know I'm talking about. Yeah, yes, then you yes. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and they shoot people. That happens every day in this country. I mean, bad music doesn't happen very often in this country. <laughs> You know, they, they got real bad, good music. I think. Yes, we've heard they a, a repertoire of the local folk songs. Yeah, I'm from Liberania, but I think Moldavia has got some great music also. Uh, but, uh, so, so now that the environment seems very tense, you're um, struggling to feed yourself, struggling to maintain control of your arms. Yeah, you know, I, I, got, no home. I got no home anymore. You're I mean, homeless? Yeah, I need to live in the woods. You and your friends? Yeah. And have you any prospect of, of um, establishing a home or would you hope to flee the area? What are your plans? Our plans is uh, gathering food for the day and we look, uh, we are looking for our friends that went missing. And you know, So you have friends that have gone missing in the war zone? Yeah, we got a lot of friends uh, missing and uh, when we gather them uh, then we maybe we'll find some shelter or some place to stay permanently. I don't know. Uh, we're trying to form a sort of, uh, not militia, but yeah, militia, you can call it militia, yeah. Oh, okay, so locals banding together yeah. uh, instead of relying on either the NAF or the Poldavian army. Yeah, exactly. So that you, you, you feel that it'd be much far preferable to, to relying on outside forces. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I don't think that, no disrespect towards the NAF, but I don't think they're doing a very, very good job. You know, when I was in prison, they, uh, they didn't even get close to getting us out, you know what I mean? So would your assessment of the, of the situation be that the NAF are losing the war? Or? Yeah, definitely, and I think we have to take measures into our own hands. 
we're not attacking the, the Bulgarian forces, mm. but if they start, you know, start uh, shoot, attacking us, we have to defend ourselves. So. No, I noticed that you're you're very close, situated very close to the NAF base. I imagine that the Bulgarians would come through here in the middle of an attack. So you're really right in the firing line, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, but we're ready for it. You see, we got uh, lot of, lots of arms and we get a yeah, we got good our spirits up. Good view of that. Yeah. Speaking of your speaking of your spirits, how is morale among your men? Uh, mostly good, but some we have some uh, we've had some problems with uh, discipline, you know, because we're not soldiers. Mm. Uh, like we're bickering, we bicker all the time, with bikes, but we really like each other. So. Oh, thank you. I think that's a, that's a great note to end on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you. Just one man banding together with his comrades to defend his own land. I'm John Lonergan. I'm John Lonergan. <laughs>